Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be looking at the newest addition to the German coastal fleet, the Project 131 torpedo boat, also known as the Labella Klasse, which is German for Dragonfly class. The vessel was designed, built and used by the German Democratic Republic during the Cold War. The V990 as it's known in War Thunder is a fantastic hybrid of German and Soviet coastal defence doctrines, whose fusion produced an extremely fast and highly manoeuvrable craft. Armed with powerful Cold War era weapons, it's capable of hunting down and sinking warships of all types and displacements. The V990 is a powerful addition and I'm sure it will quickly become a staple of many captain's lineups. The Labella class was based on a welded metal hull housing a fuel tank and a total of three Soviet M50F4 diesel engines, one to the rear and two to the front. The hull also contained one 533mm torpedo tube on each side, with single torpedo each. The boats were designed for short ranges and were meant to operate from floating bases, anchored close to the area of operation. Each Project 131 boat had a small compartment in the bow to accommodate the crew for some time. On the deck there was a pilot house with four seats and an elevated seat in the centre for the helmsman. On both sides of the pilot house, removable ejectors for sea mines could be mounted. And on the aft deck, the rear-facing ZU-23-2 23mm gun was mounted for air defence. This weapon can also be found in-game on the Russian BTR-ZU ground tech tree vehicle. The torpedoes were ejected to the rear but faced forward so that they were initially following the boat's course after hitting the water. This allows the boat to launch torpedoes often undetected for up to 5 to 10 seconds. Of the 30 boats built, none were given names, only numbers. 131-401 to 131-430. One was lost in a collision off Hindensee in 1986 and the others were retired in 1989, with four boats being preserved. Uniquely, the boat carries two large UDM sea mines with explosive mass of almost 1,000 kilos of TNT. This gives the boat an extremely powerful area denial tool and makes the boat a significant threat to large warships. Unfortunately, these can't be reloaded during a battle and can be harder to use than a depth charge as they require a contact to detonate. The torpedo armament is the Soviet 53-65 530mm torpedo which runs at a whopping 120 km an hour and delivers a 300 kilo warhead up to 12 km. This makes the boat an extremely potent long-range torpedo sniper. The ZU-23 main weapon is powerful and able to throw shells up to 3 km. However, it is hampered by the boat's tendency to roll and pitch heavily in high sea states or during heavy manoeuvres. The weapon's rear mounting leaves it of questionable use during a head-on attack. With all these factors combined, you have a vessel that can play every coastal role or mission that I can think of. You can play passively or strategically, cap zones, lay mines and set ambushes, or you can play super aggressively, actively hunting down and putting pressure on capital ships. Here's a collection of all the best gameplay footage that I recorded while spading this vehicle. Making a move. He has seen us now. He's got his four inches on us. Haha, <laughs> four inches. Oh, shot. Hit, hit, hit. Alright, we'll start running in. Can't use the torpedoes. I'm not going to because I want to get a mine kill. Come on, Clemmy boy. I'll cut across his bow here. We'll drop both of them. So I'm not sure which side releases first. Mine's away, mine's away. Oh, big hits. Wow, that's it. Oh no, I'm flooding. Oh, Jesus. Quick, fix that. The crew probably told me, but I don't speak German. This guy's just been hiding in the cap zone the whole time. In reverse, but the torpedo's away. Don't think he's even seen me yet. Oof. Oh, oops. <laughs> Shit. Just took some damage there. But it was worth it. Fires a lot of shells, this gun, but it's not very accurate. Especially in this sort of pitching of water. Just empty the whole magazine into that guy. Got a destroyer up ahead. It's not looking at us, so this will be good. His secondaries aren't on. It's definitely a player because he's firing all his main guns. Torpedo away. Second fish. I think the first one might hit him, but just to be sure. Finishing with the second. Yes.
easy kill here. He's not very aware of his situation. Oh, these things are murderous. Kamaya, why you kill me? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, friend. Japanese destroyer. Torpedo away. He hasn't seen me yet. He's engaged. Now he's seen me. Second torpedo, maybe. Yep. I'll go to mines. Double mine drop. Torpedo hit. Gonna get that mine. Yes. I <laughs> see that three turret fly off. Rank doesn't matter when you're in this boat. Run operation later. That point any second now. Torpedoes away on the Zelenchnikov. I'm gonna back up here and wait for the torpedo reload. The secondaries haven't noticed us yet. Do a nice little J turn. It's very maneuverable this boat. I love it. It's like a little race boat. It's not on a hydrofoil either, which makes it more predictable. Fish one hit, shell room detonation, fish two hit, armor plate damaged. Man, I swear they've changed something with torpedoes. They used to do so much more. Nonetheless, we did a fair bit of damage to that Zenny. Oh, even better, we get an assist. Great. All right, time to ram a torpedo up a Zenny's Kalaka, or maybe a Helena. What have we got here? Zelenistikov. He's coming bow in, I'll leave him alone. Oh, goody, Helena. Secondary is engaged with someone else. That gives us an extra second or so. Let's go around this corner. We'll go for a torpedo hits here. Fish one away. Fish two away. We'll come across his bow. Secondaries have seen us now. He's listing heavily, so we might get a solid hit to his magazine while it's exposed above the waterline. They make big boom go, yeah. Yes. <laughs> ah, satisfactory and skill. Certainly matters. Not really, it's probably a bot, but getting close is hard. Right. Fairly unremarkable. Halfway through the reload on the second batch of torpedoes, it's... Wait a minute, someone's cap C. I knew it, you little bugger. I hope you're watching. The thing about playing high tier coastal is you have to be hyper alert to other coastal boats. You get a bit complacent when you're only high, fighting high tier boats and you forget that other guys can rock up. Eh, see ya. Alright, so that was pretty successful. It unlocked a few more modifications. Two in one game. That's not bad. Despite not getting many kill kills and lots of assists, we did well. Oh no, the bird of death. I was only saying this last match. You can't get complacent. Ah! <laughs> oh, we've even run aground. Even better. Fire out. Hopefully it's AI. Yeah, his lack of awareness tells me it's AI. I'd be dead if it was a real player. 20 RP. <laughs> First scout plane. Use some AA defense here. Generous lead. Clap. Same as last match, but it looks like we have a battle cruiser. Shan Horse sighted. Already launched torpedo, so I have to wait. Here we go. We're in two kilometers. He's not aware of us. Secondaries aren't open. We might have this in the bag. Fire a fish. Turn in a bit more. He's still unaware of us. We we might make this. Artis hit him. His secondary's opened up on us now. He may be aware. Fire a second fish. I'm gonna try and get in front for a mine hit. We can do it. Oh, he just dodged that one. Not even Jesus can save you now, my friend. You're going down. <laughs> Here it comes. Here it comes. Come on, we can do it. Oh shit, taking a hit, but it's okay. Mines are... Fuck off, Jesus got me. <laughs> oh, shit. Found myself a little V990 shaped berth here. Reverse right in, we'll fit snugly in there and no one will be able to see us. Now we just have to wait for prey. 
Those two German destroyers should be coming around this point any second now. Yes, we got the first one there. His other guy was about 500 meters behind, if I remember correctly. Fire a fish. Fire a fish. I've taken hits. There he is there. Fortunately, this boat is super OP. <laughs> I've realized that you get down to 20% crew, which in a boat of five is literally one man left alive. Yet, strangely, we have everyone alive. <laughs> Mines. Oh, fun. And they don't make wreck matter or something. <laughs> oh, we're on fire again. But L, 20% crew of one man is remaining. <laughs> this thing's broken. The only thing that kills it is flooding. And we just got another one. It's 13,000 silver lies for a kill. I don't know why I've been... I think the... Uh, I don't know. It's too funny. Fuck. We're sinking. <laughs> They're going to respawn, I reckon. Making them super angry. Yeah, for some reason, this thing gets good silver lines when you uprank it. Keep getting the skill doesn't matter reward. Is it called the skill doesn't matter reward? Come the shots, dodge them out of the way. Do the zigzag, drop that FU cloud of smoke. We've pretty much won this battle for sure. Not many kills, but they were well executed kills. We should be dead by rights. What is here? Oh, Super Viero, we're coming to kill you. <laughs> Got him. Just keep pushing them. Boarding torpedoes activated. Drop the mines. Drop everything. Oh, he's hit out gun. Shit. Drop the RT. Just keep moving fast. Fix the gun. Sorry if it's not my usual. <laughs> Sorry, it's not my usual like analytical self. I've had a few uh, drinks on the Saturday night. It's pretty fun. Little boat, having a good time. So, you may have noticed that the alpha point on this map is amazing for this boat to torpedo ambush people. go. We've got to get a kill this time. Actually kill it. And then we'll come around behind and we'll use his own smoke screen to hide us from that other Helena just there. Keep having connection issues. Ugh. Alrighty. Absolutely shit aim on those AA. This boat is surprisingly resilient. Been clapped again. Still got bad network issues. I'm pinging. I reckon it's the ping that's killing me. I'm not actually pinging, but <laughs> I'm not actually pinging, but my computer is. <laughs> okay. I don't have any torpedoes. I've just been derping around too hard. Sorry. <laughs> I was gonna drop some mines behind this guy. See what happens. He's not moving anywhere. So highly stimulating gameplay for a Mr. Bot here. If he does decide to reverse, he's got 2,000 kilos of express delivered sea mine. Torpedoes are almost on their way back into the tubes. Drop some artillery in front, just got clapped by a 5 inch shell. But we're down to that 20% magic number of you must hit the random crew that's alive. Fire off the torpedoes. Here come in now artillery now, nice and heavy. Any second. Second fish away. We're going to turn away and ignore this guy now. Hit him with a torpedo. No, we didn't. We missed. We hit him with an artillery. Second torpedo hit there. Lucky I don't need research points. Almost up to our fourth reload of torpedoes. Still getting clipped by these secondaries, but not doing anything. Aluminium boats are OP. Oh, they're sinking again. <laughs> I got cocky. It's now or never. Do you want to live forever? USS Alaska, here we come. Final fish away. Aiming for the magazine there. Secondary just hit us. Get across out of their traverse. Get underneath that bow force. Drop the mines. We can do it. We can do it. Yes. Magazine detonation. 
Mine hits. Oh, there's gonna be the kill of the century. You're gonna sink, boy. You're gonna sink, honker. Oh, we have to watch it. Please sink. <laughs> Please sink. Oh, where's the camera? Where is the camera? There he is. He's sinking. Was it worth our life? He's still going down. We could have him in the bag. Uh, the smoke's clearing. He's got heavy water. Is he going down though? Is he sinking? That's the question of the day. I don't think so, boy. He's got the fire on control. That means that he's... We've failed. We've failed. We need to look better look. We need to know. <laughs> we need to know. Was our sacrifice in vain? Or was it all for nothing? <laughs> Damn you, Alaska. Damn you! <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Commander Tyrael, out.